Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can create a plugin from scratch uh, within Matum 18x and the uh, plugin that I will create is in fact a um, plugin uh, that I really liked when I was a user of uh, Google Analytics which is the, the saved report which I called uh, myself a shortcut. Okay, so uh, this uh, feature is not available within uh, Matum 1 Analytics and the idea is of course uh, to create something like oops, create something like this uh, where e within Matum 180 you get a quick access to uh, some uh, reports here which have been saved somehow so I'm gonna call them like custom reports um, so in fact the Matomo's documentation is really well down um, all you need to do is to, to read it carefully and as far as you have time uh, you're gonna be fine but just uh, for the sake of this tutorial I'm just gonna reproduce uh, the different action that I make so First action, which is advised by uh, the Matomos documentation, is to uh, access on your console and to generate a plugin that you name as you wish. So in my case, I'm gonna uh, create my plugin, uh, which so I'm just gonna go uh, like this. Just gonna go at the at the console level. Okay, so this is the console level because here I get the console. So I can execute this given line of code, which is gonna create uh, the plugin. So it's gonna ask me for the name of my plugin. So I'm gonna call it shortcuts. And it's gonna ask me for a plugin version so I can leave it empty and just press enter. And now it's good, I get my plugin created. Next step is about, um, next step is about activating the uh, plugin. So you need to perform this given line of code in order to activate the plugin. So now what you have is that you have a plugin uh, that you can see over here and uh, over here which has been created and which is named shortcuts. Okay, this is this is what you have. Um, okay, so I got my, my plugin. Uh, just to let you know that I already made a bit mistake is that I did not enter the description but I should have uh, written one. Okay, so now you have a plugin and this plugin is empty. And in our case, what we want is that we want to have a category within Matum Analytics, which is storing some uh, report that uh, we are gonna save. So for this, uh, you need to perform the following command line. Uh, what's gonna do this command line is that it's gonna create a report. So reports are the one that you will be able to see within a category name shortcut so we perform this given line of code when you do so it's going to tell you okay you want to create a report but to which plugin do you want to assign it to so in my case this plugin is shortcuts because that's the plugin that i uh, created just for that holding all those reports uh, then it's asking for the name of your report so in my case i'm just going to make it simple i'm just going to call it France because uh, this report is just going to hold the visits coming from France. So I just type France, enter the report category, for instance, visitor and, and so on and so forth. So here category refer to the category to which I would like assigned the report to. So in my case, I would like an independent category that I named shortcuts. So that's why here I'm going to select shortcuts. So here you use the up or down arrow of your keyboard in order to just select uh, what you want. So in my case, um, I cannot see it listed here, whereas that's what I wanted. So I'm just going to delete all of those. I'm just going to call it shortcuts, okay, shortcuts, because that's the category where I want to set it. Enter the documentation. Um, I can leave it empty. Enter the report dimension. So here, in fact, the report dimension um, refer to the report on which you would like to work on. So in my case, the report that I would like to work on, as you can see, is the report name country. So I'm just going to go uh, back over here. I'm just going to uh, type country. Okay, here as well, just pick up it with the up and down uh, arrow. And that's it. So now I have a report which is named France which has for dimension country which is assigned to a category named shortcuts so if i go uh, right now on Matum, i press f5 i should not have any changes yet and the reason is that i have not yet tell to the plugin that i want uh, it to appear so 
in order for this to appear, do, 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 what I need to do is that um, I need to access to uh, the reports that I created and I need to assign it within the UI by uncommenting this given line within shortcuts report and the name of my report. So I'm going to enter within my plugin that I created. So CD plugins and then the name, which is shortcuts. And then here, so I, all of those, oops, all of those have been uh, generated because I generate the plugin and I generate uh, the reports. Okay, when I generated the report, it created something uh, which is the folder name reports. And within reports, I get in fact uh, the main file that I need to modify, which is get from the PHP. So I'm just gonna modify it with nano like this. And here, if I go down below. Uh, the Matomo team did all the good thing for you, so you just need to uncomment this line in order for it, uh, in order for it to appear within the UI. So just by uncommenting this line, I am uh, gonna end up with something like this. So I'm just gonna refresh the page, and now, as you can see, I'm getting an additional category named shortcuts, in which I got uh, the report name uh, France. Um, so, so far my report has nothing incredible because it's just taking the example report, which is a static report, just showing in fact um, outcoded data. And now what I want is that I would like to get exactly the same report as this one, as this one, but uh, just filtered according to the country from. So in order to uh, do so, what I need to do is that I need to edit uh, the file which is named api.php which has been generated when I created the plugin. api.php is the one containing uh, the different, uh, let's say, formula which are called uh, by your report. And I need, in fact, to change this hardcoded value by uh, the following one. Do, 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 do. Uh, and here the magic formula is the one uh, coming from what we call the um, what we call the, the method, which is the one uh, that you can see over here. So uh, first of all, before explaining all of this in depth, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to access to the api.php file. So uh, I'm going to go back here, and here is the api.php file. You see the one that you can see over here. So I'm just going to do sudo nano and api.php. So this file is gathering all the different uh, method which I don't need it, so I don't need this. I could, in fact, I could have kept it and just changed the name, but just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna remove everything and paste the one that I was showing you. So, in fact, I just changed uh, this part uh, which is here, and here, this given line, what it said is that okay. In my specific case, I want to populate data with a report which already exists within uh, the Matomo system, which is user country dot get country. And user country dot get country is the value that you get uh, when you go over here within the admin, when you look through the API, and uh, uh, when you look like this, so user country, you see user country over here. And if I go down, in fact, those are the different methods which are called. Okay, so in my case, I just need to play with the report name user country dot get country. So that's why I'm just going to copy and paste this one. And I'm just going to uh, put it over here. And here the process request is just the, uh, let's say the, the, the name taken out of the uh, Matomo's documentation in order to uh, process uh, an existing uh, report, let's say. And here is my filter. So here in my case, <coughs> I filtered the value label by France. Why did I pick up label and not country? That's because in the art of Matomo analytics, uh, the if I look, um, yeah, <coughs> I can I can look at this. Um, so if I look over here, as you, whoops, uh, so I don't have much data here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one, which has some data like this, going to be more explicit. I'm just going to take one year of data, okay, like this. Okay, so go back and let's say user country. Okay, taps. And if I do something like this, 
you will see that in fact it's the name within the Matomo system is not named country, it's named label. Uh, I mean for, for this report in particular. So that's why here I leave it as a label and then equal front. So here what I'm saying is that okay, please give me a report which equal front. Just to let you know that I could definitely remove these parts out. Okay, if I save it, um, I just wouldn't get the filter that I expect but I will get exactly the same report as the one uh, coming from the UI. Okay, so if I go over here, uh, where is some data? Okay, root. Uh, okay, so here, as you can see, I have many countries. Uh, that's definitely the report which is coming directly from, from here. Um, and if I look through the shortcuts part, uh, look for France, you can see that it's exactly the same one, but that's not what I want. In my case, I want to filter this sound according to according to front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that out. I'm going to just say it's label, label, tag, uh, and it's the values France, values France. Okay. Now I save it. And uh, now in fact, the report is just going to be filtered according to this uh, given country and so on and so forth. In fact, uh, if you want to generate additional reports, um, what you can do is that you can just uh, uh, go back, uh, go back over here. Yes. Okay, go back over here. Here you just say um, sudo console generate report. Um, again, you just assign it to the right uh, category. Then you give a, a name which is explicit. So you can, um, I don't know what you would like to compare, but um, could be for another country or for referral or, or whatever. I'm just gonna do someone like Germany, for example. And, uh, and here I don't mind, let's country. So here it's gonna be exactly the same uh, report, but that doesn't really matter, I would say. So the plugins, and we say that it was shortcuts and within shortcuts, we get the report. And uh, so we get get Germany. So sudo nano get Germany. Okay. And here as well. Um, oh, sorry, I got it wrong. Um, so that's not where I should modify it. That should be at the API level. So sudo nano api.php. Okay. <coughs> And here I get, in fact, this new uh, new part which just came out that I don't need. I just need to modify it as this one. So I'm just going to do it here uh, as a second example. And uh, I don't know, can I just cut it like this? Okay. Should I can cut it? I'm not very familiar with this text editor, but okay, that's going to work. Okay, so here typically what I want is I just want Germany to be taken. And here I just want the uh, right file to be called. So in my case, it's get Germany. Get Germany. Uh, and in order to avoid conflict, I just got, well, by the way, I could have just comment this part out. Should have been done exactly the same thing. Okay. Uh, so here that should be okay. And then I just need to modify uh, the, uh, the report in order for it to appear within the right category. So sudo nano and it's going to be get Germany. Okay. And here as before, uh, we need to uncomment the given, the given line. And we should be all right. So now if I refresh this page, I can see that I get two reports, one for Germany and one uh, for France. And of course it works uh, whatever uh, the period that you choose. Okay. Um, of course, those reports can then be added uh, as widgets automatically, which is, which is really cool. And uh, that, that's what I wanted to, to show you. So of course it's uh, far from being perfect because as you can see, I didn't uh, say that the shortcuts needs to be before the dashboard. I didn't change as well 
uh, the icon and those reasons are because it's a bit more complicated than I expected so in fact uh, so for example here I did another viewport showing where you can just get a shortcut for uh, some reference uh, and in fact um, um, for adding an icon uh, and other stuff you need to get the help of, uh, of a developer because the, definitely that's not something which was taught um, when the documentation has been uh, written so uh, I couldn't get uh, it work without the help of uh, Lucas Winkler but uh, you can you can hack it of course in order to have uh, the icon appearing fine um, I mean Lucas helped me and it worked out on, on another instance and uh, and that's it for today so hope uh, that this helps you uh, demystify a little bit more what uh, plugins are in uh, in Matomo Analytics and how you can create them thanks for watching